if you look at the Ender 3 profile, if there is like a grayed out bounding box all around and in the front there is another grayed out area right here and right here. This is just a safe mode because you're using the clips to clip your bed onto the surface of the plate. You can go to your file explorer, the program files, go to the Ultimaker Cura and then go to your resources and then definitions and then here you're going to find your printer where is the ender 3 the ender 3 is right here you know what i'm just going to go ahead and duplicate this copy and paste it says you need uh, administration uh, access go ahead and continue so i am going to open this ender 3 definition with the notepad plus plus all you need is a basic text editor and then if you look right here it says machine disallowed areas that's the area of the clip or the front and back grayed out areas what you want to do is from this bracket right here all the way here you just want to delete that close it out close it out and you want to save again this note pops up because it is um, you need to be in administrator mode just click yes we'll close the cura app and we're going to open another instance of cura this front area that was grayed out previously is now gone if any time you want to go back to your previous version just delete your uh, json extension and then just rename this so i'll just do that right now i'll just delete that and then rename it to the json extension one j-o-s-o-n and then you're back to the original version again you have to close out of cura and then go back into cura the front grayed out area is back now we're going to go to the cr tennis pro and we have this issue right here where I brought in my box that's 300 by 300 by 200. I cannot slice this. I want to make sure that the build plate adhesion type is to none. Because if you do have a skirt, it is going to make the volume bigger. As you can see, I have none. And, and still, I am not able to slice this uh, model because... Cura itself, it has a little, like a one millimeter bounding box. So if it's exactly 300, it's not going to allow you to slice the model. What you have to do is go to your manage printers. You're going to go to your printers. I'm going to select the CR Tennis Pro. Go to the machine settings and select 302. It's going to be like one millimeter on the side and one millimeter all around. And that's why you have to select a 302. As soon as I selected it, I am able to slice this model. The only thing I'm going to print is the outer perimeter, the exactly 300 by 300. Um, I'm lowering it down a little bit because if you look on the bottom right here, it's not a 300 by 300. There is a little gap that I have. So I don't want to print the bottom four millimeters. I want to bring it down and print just the walls. I'm going to slice that. It may be a problem or it may not be a problem with you is how well your bed is centered and you may have more of an off center from the actual bed. In order to remedy that, you're going to have to go here again to the printer settings manage printers go to the machine settings and go to here to the extruder and then add a value of two um, it could be more or less depending on how your bed is set up and for the y value i think it's actually longer than the x value so you can leave it at zero but you can also change this here i'll change it to two so so that you can have a example 
and I'm just going to go ahead close it out close slice If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. And if you know of any other solutions to fixing the uh, full build plate volume and have a different method than was shown here, you can also leave that in the comments below. Please like and subscribe to this channel. Thanks. Mm -hmm.